Hello everyone and welcome back to what is one of the biggest games of the whole Premier League season. It is of course the final day, everyone's played 37 games um, and it's Brentford against Leeds today. Um, now if you go back only a couple of months, sort of to the beginning of March, it was looking as though this game would sort of be a bit of a relegation decider. But thankfully, from a Brentford perspective, we're currently mid-table and we couldn't really have asked much better than that. Um, come the start of this season. Now as for Leeds, the stakes couldn't really be higher. One game to play, like I say, and they're currently 18th in the bottom three, level on points with Burnley. Now Burnley are playing Newcastle, which is by no means an easy game, but for Leeds, let's be fair, Brentford have been on really good form of late. It doesn't look like we're on the beach at all, even though we're mid-table. Brentford be Leeds, it's sort of a bit of a rivalry now. I think after that Mope goal at Ellen Road a couple, couple years back. I'm anticipating a pretty chaotic game, pretty chaotic atmosphere, let's be fair. If Leeds managed to stay up, being in the bottom three on the final day, I mean their fans will be absolutely buzzing. Now I don't really want it to be Brentford that relegate Leeds, but a lot of our fans will want that to happen. I don't know what to expect today. The stakes are higher for Leeds, but Brentford are playing well. Should be a good one. Let's get down to Brentford.
Final score at Brentford was Brentford 1, Leeds United 2, thanks to a 95th minute winner from Jack Harrison. What a win it is for them, and my did they celebrate it, you know. Jesse Marsh, to be fair, he has done a good job, you know. It looked a really difficult task for him. They are a very big club. To come to Brentford and get the result they needed today, to get themselves out of trouble, but they have done just that at Burnley's expense. On the balance of play, I think they did deserve it. They were the better side today. Gave away a penalty, which Rafinha slotted away. Then, of course, we went down to 10 men. Then Sergi scored an absolute screamer of a header. It was curling in, side net, and beautiful goal. It had to be Sergi Callas. That was big limbs. And Sergi takes his shirt off, gets a yellow card, and literally just as they kick off, he gets another yellow card and gives a foul away, so gets sent off. So we then have nine men for the last 10 minutes. We're camped on the edge of their box, and literally, the last kick of the game... Falls to Harrison on the edge of the box, and it's a great strike, brilliant technique, right into the corner. And I have to say, fair play to Leeds, you know. It looked a difficult task for them to come and get a win today, but they've done just that. But from a Brentford perspective, we've had a brilliant, brilliant season. And I was just thinking about how many great moments we've had. Um, in about a week's time, I'm going to be releasing a top 10 moments of the season uh, for some brilliant matches that we've had this season. Um, so you can all enjoy that in about a week's time. I've also got some fan interviews during and after the match about moment of the season, play of the season. So I'll release that in the week. 46 points, 13th place, you know, 
we'd have all absolutely taken that at the start of the season. Now, of course, next season, the second season in the Prem, it's always going to be a difficult one. I do hope we can stay up. Fixtures are released in a few weeks' time, and thankfully, Brentford will be in the Premier League again next season. Come on, bees.